I think my love of lupins started like lots of people as a child. Granny always had them in her back garden. And of course, when the seeds are ripe, they're black and they pop, which children love. I think it's just such a beautiful statement plant. It goes beautifully with peonies and alliums. It just stands out as a focal point in your garden. I started growing them seriously about 15 years ago. I wanted to be a lupin specialist, so we concentrated solely on the lupins, on the breeding program, and getting some really good varieties going. A lot of people have seen the beautiful perennial polyphyllus lupin in New Zealand on the South Island, and that wild lupin was crossed with an annual lupin called Hartwegii, and by combining the two, we got lots of colour breaks and resulted in beautiful perennial hardy lupins like these. What I'm looking for in a perfect lupin is one such as this. The flower spikes are open from the bottom all the way up to the top. And this is achieved by the little yellow petals here, and they're called standards. And they need to be opened right up like a butterfly, and that helps to cover the stem. And also these little plump bells, also called keels, and the whole effect is then this lovely colour break lupin all the way up to the top. Lupins are really easy to grow. They love the sun and they prefer an open site. They really like an acid neutral soil, but it can be a very poor soil as well. Horse manure is not a good idea at all. If you want to uh, kill your lupins, put some fresh horse manure on and that will get rid of them for you. Lupins don't come true from seed, so if you want the same colour that's growing in your garden, you need to take a basal cutting in February, March time. Expose the crown and from here you'll see little shoots emerging and these can be nicked off and popped in some compost and they will root up very quickly in February, March time. We're hoping to show some new lupins at Hampton Court as it's a special occasion for us and fingers crossed it's going to be Jupiter which is a purple and white bicolour and cashmere cream. It's very exciting because I'm going to be able to show the lupins there for the first time and I think it's because lupins are back in fashion. Sarah, what a fantastic display. Thank it is you. so incredibly colourful. Mm. I, I absolutely love it. But why do you think that in general lupins are becoming so fashionable again? Well, we have spent the last 15 years trying to make them fashionable. Um, but as you see this tremendous rainbow of colours here, I think when people actually see them in the flesh, they realise how beautiful they are and how magnificent they'll be in their garden. How can people get the best from them? Because I know some mm. do struggle with slugs mm. and snails and the mm. damage that they can cause. Yes. Best thing to do is when you plant them in the spring, put a few slug pellets down, but the tip is to put them down again in the autumn so that when the slugs are laying their eggs around the base of your plant and going to overwinter, you catch them before they do that. And what about reflowering? Because you get this incredible mm. display, really mm. strong spikes. If you cut that off when it fades, mm. will you get more? They are repeat flowerers, which is, I think, another thing people don't realise. The main stem is the best one, but they produce side shoots. And then if you cut those again, you'll get spikes from the base again. So slightly or smaller, summer. but definitely yes. more flowers. Yes, definitely worth doing. Now, I know that you had two new introductions you were hoping mm. to bring here, so I'm dying to know, did they make it to Hampton Court? I'm afraid they didn't, no, oh. but, but we do have some some brilliant ones, the favourite masterpiece, everybody mm. loves that one, and the lovely red rum. Really fantastic yeah. array of colour, as you say, mm. masterpiece is mm. just delicious, yes. I love yes. it. Yes. Hope to see you here every year from Thank now on. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rachel. One of the things I love about lupins is their wonderful array of candy colours. In fact, many of the displays here at the show, well, they evoke memories of an old-fashioned sweet shop. It is impossible to resist all of those floral flavours, so I'm not even going to try. Sugar.